I just wanted to get over to Crane Avenue. It feels like uh, I'm in a movie. You can't make this stuff up. We're following breaking news in Beachview tonight. Crews right now are removing a railway bridge after a dump truck hit it this morning. Lauren Linder has been out on that scene all day. Lauren, what's the latest? Uh, well, Chris, well, Ken, you can see that they are actually removing it right now, so I'm not going to step into the frame so you can see it as it's happening. They had been preparing all day to uh, have this happen, and now you can see that they are finally removing this railway bridge here on Crane by Route 51. Allegheny Crane is running the operation and brought in big equipment to get it done. Uh, and this is, you can see, it's happening right now, and the trestle was off its mooring, leaning on its side. The mayor's office says a private dump truck hit it. Technically, there are two train bridges there, and sources tell KDK the truck only struck one. The tracks on it are no longer active. According to the city, it's owned and operated by Wheeling and Lake Erie Railway. Sources say crews were alerted to the issue by a guy doing a safety check on the tracks overnight. Now, workers were in the process of taking the bridge down in question which is happening as we speak. Uh, Duquesne light came out to turn the power off so crews could put a crane up safely. Eventually that crane arrived on scene and workers spent hours setting it up until this moment now um, and it will once they do officially remove this uh, train bridge they then will have to spend hours and disassembling the crane as well and we should know that this all comes at a time when PennDOT has closed part of Route 51 to demolish the bridge by Woodruff at the bottom of Mount Washington which has created some headaches for drivers on Creighton Avenue and once this bridge is removed roads are expected to reach uh, to reopen. I reached out to Wheeling and Lake Erie Railway for comment, but have not heard back from them at this time. And I'm going to stay out of this shot as this continues to uh, as they continue to remove it at this time. But for now, reporting live from Beachview, Gordon Linder, KDK TV News.